Hey there! I am so excited to show you one of our new Chalkmade kits. Live life in full bloom this year with our Chalkmade Bloom Kit. You can sing out of Petunia all you want, especially when you're creating flowery home decor. We've selected the perfect mix of flowers and greenery for a gorgeous floral look. This Chalkmade kit includes everything you need to create one of your very own. The Chalkmade Bloom Transfer, one white faux embroidery hoop surface, one shimmer rose gold Chalkology paste single, a mini squeegee, four greenery branches, two large felt flowers, one in peach and one in coral, four small felt flowers, two in gray and two in off-white, one gold sawtooth hanger with two screws, and 15 adhesive squares. Whew! I've got everything I need, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is fuzz my transfer. I'm going to carefully peel the transfer off the backer sheet and stick the transfer down onto the fuzzing cloth. This helps pick up a little lint and gentles the adhesive on the transfer. Once my transfer is fuzzed, I'm going to place the bloom transfer on my surface. I'm placing it slightly above the center of the faux embroidery hoop surface. This ensures that the felt flowers and greenery branches that we'll add later don't cover up the sentiment. Plus, it makes for an adorable look. Before I move on, I'm making sure to smooth out my transfer so there are no bubbles or wrinkles. Now for some color. I'll prepare my Shimmer Rose Gold Paste Packet by kneading it so that it's well mixed. Then I'll use my transfer trimmers to cut open the corner of the packet and squeeze some into the color tray. This is such a cute springy color. Alright, let's get chalking. I'm going to scoop up my Shimmer Rose Gold Paste with my mini squeegee and spread it over the Bloom Sentiment. I'll also make sure to get all the excess paste off of my screen and back into my color tray. A little bit of paste goes a long way. Now I'm going to carefully pull my transfer off the surface. Isn't it adorable? To speed up the drying process, I'm going to use the quick dry tool. And now it's time to add some cute floral details. I'm going to carefully peel the backers off of one of my adhesive squares and then place it directly onto the surface, then peel off the remaining backer. Next, I'll select one of my flowers or greenery branches and press it firmly against the adhesive square, ensuring that it sticks to the surface. Repeat this process until you have a beautiful garden spread on the bottom right of your surface. Create your own floral arrangement for this project or follow along with me exactly. This is such an adorable project that will get you feeling all the floral vibes. I won't lie, I'm head clover heels in love with this. With the new Chalkmade Bloom Kit, you can get your house ready for a bloomin' good time. Happy chalking.